Hi everyone, so now I am logged into Google Analytics and I'm looking at the new account that I created. So if I wanted to somehow get back to the tracking script code for some reason, I could do that by clicking on the admin button over here and then going to this first column and choosing the site that I'm interested in. And I'm actually interested in this one called Digital Us. So I'm going to click on that one and you see all the different things right here. Um, I can add a user, which I will do um, shortly, but I'm right now I'm concerned with tracking information. So I'm going to click on the second column, Tracking Info button, and I want the tracking code, which you'll recognize from the previous video is right here. This is the, the UA number or ID, and this is the script. For now, we don't need the script because I'm just going to use the tracking um, uh, ID number. And I'm going to go over to my WordPress site uh, over here, which is um, I have open and I'm logged into my WordPress site in the admin area. You can see WP admin. And then I click on uh, this alert that's coming up says um, Google Analytics is not active. Um, it's a plugin that I installed, but it's not active yet because I haven't selected the analytics profile that I wanted to track. So I'm going to select that right here, and then it's it's saying please select the correct um, analytics account. I actually authenticated myself, so I basically connected WordPress with Google, with my Google account. So um, WordPress and Google uh, Analytics are now talking with each other. And I can go to this and either add this number right here, or I can choose to do it manually, which I just copied the code, so I'm going to enter it manually right there. And there we have it, and I can click uh, Update Google Analytics Settings. And then it, it's saved into my code, and I don't have to do anything else over here. Um, and so when I go back to the dashboard over here, there will be no more alert that's saying uh, make sure you add uh, Google Analytics to your site. And then also when I go back to this uh, screen right here, it um, if I re-click uh, on this um, uh, tracking code number, it should say tracking installed. So you saw you see how that uh, changed, and so it's it was able to find that that you uh, a number in my website pretty much instantaneously, instantaneously, and that's how you do that. If you actually wanted to do add the script to the header file, uh, I mentioned in the previous video that was a little bit more complicated. You would actually copy this piece of script and then go over to your uh, uh, WordPress site, click on Appearance, and then scroll down to Editor. And then you're going to see some code files, and this it's really important that you don't mess around in here unless you really know what you're doing. But you could go to the header file over here and then add um, the script to uh, you know the header file. And actually, let me just look and see where it says. Um, copy and paste in the code of okay so it doesn't really specify but basically I'm gonna put it right here just for fun right now um, it's in the head of the of the page um, and we don't need it because we already added it the other way but that's what you would do and then you would save your document update that file um, and then it would be um, it would be working so I'm gonna actually not do that for now because I already did it in the other place um, but I just wanted to show you how to do it, and that's really pretty much how. I hope that helps, and I look forward to any questions. Thanks.